This is a white wall that I am painting Indigo Shade by Dulux. This will be the colour of my brand new studio, which is a tiny box room. Uh, and this is a studio built episode, I do apologise. Attach this light fitting. This was the old light fitting, I don't have a good shot of it, but it was old dated this is is directional i can point it at things bought a cheap brown rug it is new it's not old to cover up some of these ugly white floorboards that i did paint so it's a fresh coat at least and uh, now it's time to build some furniture i do a bit of this time lapsey stuff in this video because i figured i'd need to beef the thing out i do apologize they're not as interesting as i thought they'd be this is becoming the putting the furniture together channel uh, and I don't subscribe to many of them, I'll be honest. Still going, is it? Bloody hell. Anyway, this is a cheap shelf. It was £30. I believe it's for like garage storage, but I like the look of it. And I needed big shelves and I needed two of them. So that's what I did. £30 each, I think they were. The most expensive thing in this room were these undershelf lights, but I had to have them. And when I got one set, I needed two. Uh, but I'm sure you'll agree, they, they look quite nice. There's nothing worse than spending ages building a project and then not being able to see it. Uh, building some more furniture now. This is a, sm well, I'm having two tables, but very plain tables, very cheap tables. And it is by Fasagul, by Song Mix, I think. This was about £40 or 30 something like that. They're all cheap. I don't have much money, so I went cheap. This is uh, one of the little tables. I'm going to have another one that took forever to arrive. It was actually quite a joy to build, very easy. It's just a shame that the room's so small, it's hard to build anything, and it gets even harder by the end of this video. And that little table fits right here. God, state of me. And it is flush with the shelf. So, underneath, all storage, all storage down there. Same with there. I have plenty of room for my crap. Very cheap plastic storage boxes here. Three for eight pounds, I believe. Oh, for fuck's sake. As I say, very cheap. <laughs> Here's Beth. Uh, she is employed as my daughter. Uh, she's here busy cleaning her Kia model that she designed. Quick jump to the future and those boxes are filled with all the plastic crap I used to scratch build with. Here is my highly futuristic and technological editing station which is opposite the crafting desk. Right, so this is a stream deck. I, I had this thing back from my streaming days but I don't stream anymore, so now I have converted it. Stay in focus, you. So this is, it, it's all my hotkeys now. I've got my YouTube and Plex and Twitch and whatever else. This is for editing. Focus. Focus on the bloody thing. This is for editing here. I'll press this to go to my editing, editing software. But when I'm in my editing software, I go here. These are all my hotkeys that make sense to nobody but myself. But the most helpful thing here is this is a ripple delete. I only discovered what ripple delete was a few months ago and it is a, 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 a game changer. Ripple delete is when you delete a file on the editing software, like delete a clip on the editing software and all the other clips move back. I was doing it manually for a long time, like a fool. Also, when I do stop motion, these arrows here, this is move forward one frame, move back one frame. So I can 
move the object slightly. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll film the object, cut it, and I want it on for say three frames. I want the stop motion to be three frames each movement. So just cut it with the scissors there, and then one, two, three. That way you know it's three frames. Cut it, next frame, one, two, three. Uh, I don't think that makes any sense. But it's very handy for the stop motion. I just thought I'd show you that. Because uh, this stream deck was going unused for a while. It was a bit dusty. Dust off there. Very handy for the stop motion. Very handy for editing. I think this has probably doubled my output. But you wouldn't know it with the regularity of my videos. When I was a young, hip youth, I learned how to play acoustic guitar uh, and uh, I figured it's time to dust the old thing off. I'll bring it in here. This is a room of creativity and I'll place it there to impress girls. Another time lapse for all of you in case you were missing those. This is a, a little drawer cabinet -y thing. Technically this is for a bathroom. And with the white floorboards and the and the the blue walls, it's kind of looking a bit like a bathroom in here, but I'm, I'm sure that'll be fine by the end. Putting this thing in the corner by the shelves. Need some drawers. I don't like to use drawers because uh, you never look in them. But these drawers aren't going to be used for anything that I need that should be quick to hand. Jeez, we're back in with another time lapse here. This is the final table that I'd been waiting for. I'd waited a good long month for this. Uh, it was supposed to be delivered via Hermes and uh, apparently they'd received the package and that was it. That was the end of the tracking. So I got in touch with the company, had a good old moan. They said, oh, we'll get one out to you. It might take a few more days. It came the next day. In the process of moving rooms, I had broken my overhead lamp for the crafting. So I got a new one of those, cheap on Amazon and uh, you have to get a brand new cutting mat whenever you get a new studio. Them's the rules. Hi, the reason I've not been on video so much is because of this mess of a hairdo. Uh, I'm actually scheduled to get it cut very soon. Hair transformation! A bit short. Anyway, I should probably give you a little tour of the room. So here under the tables, hidden away from you, is the aforementioned storage. Let's go through some of the, the main boxes. The, uh, we'll start off with the model kits and minis. This one's just full of all the, uh, the reasonably expensive stuff. This isn't just crap from, you know, food products and all that sort of thing. Next we have all the flocking and terrainy bits, you know, uh, static grass, gravel, uh, flocking, grass tufts, uh, there's some aquarium plants, we've even got some little Christmas tree things that I'll probably never use, but you never know. Third is potions and lotions, well just glues, spray paint, baking powder, all the liquidy type things, isopropyl alcohol, keep them in a box out of the way. We don't want to be looking at that stuff, especially this. The last of the four big main boxes is uh, bits and bobs and beads. These are all the important things. These are the things I use the most. Uh, but not these smiley face things. I don't know why I have these. Or these pastel pom-poms. But these are putka pods, I believe they're called. I've been holding on to these for a good long while because they're going to make perfect pumpkins. They're the right scale for it. Uh, just need the right project to use them. I'd almost forgotten, but this is my fancy box of wood. All kind of lollipop sticks, candy floss sticks, dowels, uh, bamboo, barbecue skewers, wooden discs. Any bit of wood you can find in any shape and I'll grab it and I'll keep it. We're moving up to the executive level now. Starting uh, with the paint area. 
I'm pointing at my palette, so my wet palette there. And in this rack is uh, it's exclusively speed paints. This right here is a bottle of Black 3.0 and the minute Boiler Hobbit Time found out that I had a bottle of this, he insisted that they make a Black 4.0. Talk about petty. If you are anything like me and you studied art, then any art teacher worth their sort would tell you that you only need these three colours. And you can make any colours you want. But I would argue that you also need black and white. But then you're going to need uh, metallics, you're going to need a silver and a gold. And you know, by the time you've got these, you might as well buy the rest. At least that was my logic. These are all my little drawer things. Whenever I go to a charity shop, I look for a wooden drawer thing and uh, I sand it and stain it with the same wood varnish, attach matching uh, handles and nameplates. Uh, and on the right here, we've got the tools that I use mostly. There's a lot of bloody tools. Literally ones of you in the comments will complain if I don't show an obligatory shot of the art ship. So there you go. And obviously a crafting room would not be complete without a miniature Dig Dug arcade. One of the best arcades of all time. Those of you that have been watching all of my videos, or a lot of them, will notice and uh, recognise a lot of these things. We've got the, uh, the pumpkin, the skull, the couple of tonks there. Evil Santa, Candybot, Kia, the bastard algorithm, Polly, the slug, uh, Bonehead, uh, the cosmic horror and the many-eyed cosmic horror. And up a shelf we've got uh, buildings, mainly. A lot of things I made before I started making YouTube videos and uh, some sculpts of horror characters from movies that I did a while back before I knew any of you. And on the tippity top shelf are my games. Dark Souls, I love Dark Souls. I'm a big Soulsborne fan. I've got all the Dark Souls and the expansions. There's a few I haven't got. And uh, also got uh, the He-Man Master of the Universe game there. Got Star Wars Legion that I have never touched. And uh, this, the key to the kingdom. Uh, which is a childhood board game uh, of mine. And uh, <coughs> let me show you why I love this thing so much. Look at this thing. The Island Fortress. It's like the start of Dark Souls right there. Wizard Man! Look at that. I love the artwork on this. Evil Towers, a bit of He-Man thing there. Look at this guy. He's like that star thing from Suicide Squad. Stario? Can't remember that, that's a bloody Pokemon. There's a little lantern fish there. Giant, I say not little. The Temple of Martyrs. The Living Forest. Tiger Pit. What a shit existence that is. Just sitting in a pit in the middle of a path. The Ring of Stones looks important. And we flip it over, and there's more. There's a big giant under that bridge. Who built that bridge? Come on. To the Banshee's Tower. Over a giant. Do not wake the sleeping giant, no shit. I love this little imp guy that's just buried in the dirt. Snake pit. Oh, dragon. There's another pit with a pig. Someone's just going around this world digging pits and chucking animals in them. See? There's a rat pit. Ice Palace. That's where Elsa lives. Lovely key to the kingdom. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I've never played it. Up here, beside a few books, I have my giant cathedral tonk, the biggest thing I've ever built, uh, but it, that is not reflected in the views. Next to it is this foam brick uh, gatehouse thing I made. One of the first things I built. I'm quite happy with that. And next to that is a, a prop from DigiLive, and they let me keep this, which was nice of them. All right, so before I had a channel, I was making things. This, if you can see it, 
is, uh, well, if you can guess the film, put it in the comments. This uh, was an advent calendar, a horror Halloween advent calendar thing. It had some Funko Pops in it. So I made little sets for them all. And it bloody won't focus because of the glass. So we got graveyard, graveyard, uh, ca uh, castle-y type, cavern type place, boiler room, and uh, underground cave, because I ran out of ideas at this point. Freddy should really be in the boiler room, shouldn't he? And uh, Annabelle's fallen over. This here is my made up insect display uh, we've got the the gut prong there this one's named after my daughter the the Beth's Ridgeback it was all made out of clay and beads and shit. I like these male and female hoopla bug guessing you can guess how they work also the die fly that's the evolutions Three different stages of life. Tooth rudder. Strawbridge mite. I don't know what these names are. I don't know where they came from, but. Here, I'm a big Stephen King movie fan. Also, I'm a big John Carpenter fan, but this is just the John Carpenter uh, Apocalypse Trilogy. There, The Thing, Prince of Darkness, In the Mouth of Madness. Not many people have seen In the Mouth of Madness. Highly recommend it. This, Waxwork, possibly the first horror film I ever watched. And then a little bit later on I watched Waxwork 2, which isn't as good. Waxwork isn't particularly good, but nostalgia. And somebody sent me this, a promo thing for scanners. I think they send this thing to the video shops back in the day. This is a self-portrait of me with my head on a spike. I drew this a long time back. It used to scare my nephew. What a looker. This is the editing station where we do the editing with the mic and the computers. I'll be honest, it's used for more than editing. This is a piece of art that was sent to me by Dan's Monsters. Dan Charnley, I believe his name is. That was very kind of him. Thank you very much. This was a birthday card, but it's a postcard sent to me by uh, Jeff. It's not very well at the minute. Hope you're well, Jeff. My heart goes out to you. This was sent to me by, this is a strange one, this. This was sent to me by Ashens. Uh, he showed me this. Little slip of paper he found in the back of a, a VHS case. And I said, I want it, let me have it. It's the cast list of Free Willy 2. Somebody has got their little word processor out and they've typed all these names out. Tucked them in the back of the video case. I mean, IMDB didn't exist back then, did it? The thing I love about this is people used to appreciate their videotapes and the odd film they had. Now we take it all for granted. Although I don't like the way they've used the semicolon there for Randolph Johnson, what's that about? This was also a birthday card. Headless eyes, look at that. Need I say more? That's a real film, by the way. How does headless eyes even work? It's just eyes, isn't it? And that's an Arthur C. Clarke crystal skull there. And this is a uh, from a charity stream. When I used to stream back on Twitch, back in the day, I was, uh, s well, second to end billing there. It's a good slot. After Ash and C, he was uh, my support act. And it was me. I was called Anatomical Bomb back then. It was all hosted by a bite my thumb there. And that's the pictures for now. There's a whole wall to fill here. So that's it, that's pretty much the room. Uh, and I know it's not much for you Americans uh, who seem to have a, a huge basement and then a garage, and then at the end of the garden you have a warehouse, and that's standard. But in the UK, where space is limited, this is a treasure. 
Now the answer to the question that is in the, the clickbaity title is no. Uh, but for me, pretty darn close. Uh, I want to get to work. I want to get, this is to help productivity. And it, it has mainly been paid for by the patrons. It wasn't as expensive as it seems. The most expensive thing would be under this shelves lighting. And I mean, the shelves are only like 30 quid each. The tables are about 30 quid each. But the lights, they were expensive, but I needed them because they're fancy. But it is thanks to the patrons that I can do any of this. Thank you very much, patrons. Um, you're all up here. If you would like to help support this channel, because I'm, my output is gonna be like double don't hold me to that, but it will be nice to have a room that I can craft in and then leave the project half done and then go to my other room where I can relax or sleep without the fumes of isopropyl alcohol and the tiny floating particles of junk bots that I've been soaring. And then I can leave a project half finished and not have to tidy it up because my daughter's visiting. Now, back when I had, when it was all in one room where I slept and lived, this was about the amount of space I had to do all of, this, all of the work. This. I have probably four times this space now, and that's not including the PC where a lot of it happened. So uh, I'm hoping productivity will be up. Big thank you to you. If you'd like to help uh, support this channel, because I really do rely on you, um, the, the, there's a link. I don't like to beg. But, um, thank you, patrons. Uh, I'm gonna get straight to work. I have an idea for my next video, and hopefully it won't take that long. Again, don't hold me to it. So I think I'm going to get to crafting right now. Oh, please like, comment and subscribe.